Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I'm going to show you a little tutorial called the Shaving Cream Technique. So it's a little messy, but so much fun. And check out these fabulous cards. So they are, they will always come out a little different. You just never know how they might come out, so it's kind of like watercoloring. I will say this one here was my first one. So this was the first one that I pressed into the shaving cream. Then this one was the second one. So you can see it's starting to mix a little bit more. And then I'm not really sure which one was number three, four, and five here. So there's this one here that's really mixed up. And then these, um, some of these I actually kind of like drug through the shaving cream. So I'm going to show you how to do this technique and give you a couple uh, little tips and tricks on uh, different things that you can do to get different looks. But like I said, each one kind of comes out differently so you just never really know. So let's go ahead and pull this in. So a couple things that you're gonna need is a paper plate or you can always do a container, like a little short container, something that you can put the shaving cream in to kind of keep it contained and um, to also, you'll be using re-inkers so you'll wanna make sure that you know it can take the ink and won't get uh, ruined or anything like that. I also have a butter knife here and I use that to scrape off any excess of the uh, shaving cream. And then this right here is just like a little, um, I actually think it's like a skewer for um, for grilling, but I'm using it to mix up my goodies and stuff. You could always use a toothpick or something like that. And then I have my shaving cream. This is just the cheapest shaving cream you can find at Walmart. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It has to be shaving cream and not gel though. And then I have a couple re-inkers here. I have Tempting Turquoise, Tangelo Twist, and Cucumber Crush. So I thought I would stick um, to maybe some more masculine colors and not so um, pinky. Which I will say, so one of the reasons why I chose to do the yellow here was because when the yellow and blue mix, then they make green. So that sort of happened as I was mixing them and I didn't have to actually add an additional re-inker. I would say you're gonna need at least two colors to do this technique. You probably could do it with one, but you'd have to use a lot of ink and then it would just be like a white and, um, and then whatever color you choose. So it's a little bit more fun with more colors um, just because it kind of gives that tie-dye look. So we're gonna start by uh, adding the shaving cream to the plate. It doesn't need to be um, super thick or even or anything. Just kind of go back and forth and um, cover the plate. So now, you know, it doesn't matter that it's a little bit thicker right here. It doesn't have to be even. Now we're just going to add the re-inkers and just kind of, woo! Okay, so maybe I squeezed a little too much. I usually just do like a drip, drip, drip and randomly hit places. But this could be fun. So I usually kind of do this and just randomly drip all over. But um, that one really had an even stream coming out. So this uh, could be an inky mess, but that's the fun of this. It, like I said, it comes out different every time you do it, and you just never know what you're going to get. I would say this is a lot more ink than I normally did um, for all the other projects. Um, but you know, each one's going to come out a little different. Uh, with more ink, of course, your color is going to be more saturated and, and it will probably cover more. Whereas like this one, you know, there's a lot of white. Like the more you go out to the edge, the better you'll have for the coverage on, um, on your piece of cardstock. So now you can take your toothpick or your skewer um, and you can swirl around. You can leave it alone where it is right now, but you can also do like little swirls or you can like drag, drag across and do something like this. Um, you know, you're just kind of mixing it and swirling those colors together a little bit. And this is where the mess comes in. <laughs> now we'll set that down and now it's time to place the cardstock on. So here I just have a piece of four inch by five and a quarter inch whisper white cardstock. And we're just going to lay that down. And I'm pushing, so you're actually seeing it squirt out, but I'm pushing all over. And then now we'll just pick it up. 
and that's what it looks like. So it does look really messy, and I'm just going to lay it on this paper towel here and take my butter knife and scrape off the excess. So I'm actually using like the back side of the butter knife and I'm just going to put that right there on the edge there. So now we have this look and I'll just take another paper towel and wipe off the excess. And you can sort of dab if you're afraid that you don't want like the um, smear marks or anything so you can kind of dab it off if, if you prefer that. And there, oh, here I have a little bit on the edge. And there is your final look. Super cool, and now you can add that to your uh, card stock for your uh, card base and assemble as you wish. So now I'm just going to do a few more. Here's a long strip, and this is where I kind of drug it through. So I'm just gonna like place it here and then pull. So this one's coming out really uh, dirty. It's almost becoming like a brown. So maybe these colors aren't the best mix. Um, but it is super cool looking. Ooh, I love that. Look at some of those swirls right there. That's super cool. And then, you know, you could always chop off and use just that piece for a card. And then I'm just going to make a big mess out of this and then we'll see what we get to. And just press that down in there. Pull it out. And you can also put it back in there, you know, if you don't like the look um, and want, you know, a little bit more in a certain spot. <gasps> oh, I love this. Oh, that is super fabulous. Look at those swirls, those are amazing. How cool is that? I super love it. So again, like the more you do it, the more swirls and mixing that you get. Um, and you might like it more like this than you did with some of those first images there, like this one. So play with it and you know run a few pieces of cardstock through or maybe just mix it more in the beginning if you prefer this look. Uh, like I said, you never really know what it's gonna come out to be, um, but it's so much fun. And let's go ahead and bring back in some of these samples. I went ahead and just added all of, um, all the same greeting to my samples. So these all use the Age Awareness stamp set, and then I used the um, decorative label punch, and then just backed that in some Bermuda Bay and used some Whisper White cotton ribbon. For this one, I used some of the new uh, Whisper White satin stitched ribbon, but then used that same Age Awareness and the uh, decorative label punch. And this one I actually used some Whisper White Baker's twine. So I kind of kept it simple with uh, the Whisper White and, uh, and decorated with those, those backs with you know using each color that I used in, in here, except this one I actually didn't use uh, Cucumber Crush, but I kind of achieved that color with the mixing of the blue and yellow. So super fun, and like I said, each one's gonna come out different, but that's the awesomeness about it. I'll be posting more pictures of these on my blog, laurastamppad.com, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time, happy stamping.